In this video, you're going to learn how to configure a DMZ network to protect a public web server from unauthorized access. A DMZ network, from the term demilitarized zone, is a secure network connected to the FortiGate that only grants access if it has been explicitly allowed. In this example, the DMZ network will allow access to a web server using different addresses for internal and external users, while preventing access to the internal network if the web server is compromised. Go to the Network Interface page and edit the DMZ interface settings. Disable all administrative access options and set the status to Up. Your FortiGate may have a default DMZ interface. Using this default is recommended, but not required. Next, go to Firewall Objects Virtual IP. You will need to create two virtual IPs for HTTP and HTTPS. Both will have the same external interface, your internet-facing interface, external IP, the public IP address of your web server, and mapped IP, the DMZ network address or the actual address of the web server. The first virtual IP will use port 80 for HTTP, and the second will use port 443 for HTTPS. Next, go to the Policies page and create a policy to only allow HTTP and HTTPS traffic from the internet to access the web server. Then create a second policy to allow HTTP and HTTPS traffic from the internal network to also access the web server. Internal and external users can now both access the web server using the appropriate addresses, secured by the FortiGate, but isolated from your internal network. You can use the Policy Monitor to verify that traffic from the internet and from the internal network can both access the web server by looking for results with the DMZ interface as destination. You can also view the individual sessions in the forward traffic log. Thank you for watching! If you need further details, you can visit docs.fortinet.com at any time to access Fortinet's complete documentation library.